Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial we will be building a two more functionalities inside our Google Drive application. So basically guys, this is the fifth tutorial in the playlist of Google Drive API tutorials. So in this tutorial, we will be adding two more functionalities to our Google Drive application. So this is the application you can see on your screen. So this is the demo. So you just need to allow the permission. So basically we will be adding this uh, move to trash button guys. So if you just search for your all the files which are present inside your Google Drive. So we will also add this button guys move to trash. So whenever you click this button your file will be moved to the trash folder. So every Google Drive have this trash folder guys. This is a dust, dustbin icon. So items in trash are deleted forever after 30 days. So there is also a button we will see here the empty trash so whenever you click this button all the files will be permanently deleted uh, and we will, our trash folder will be empty so this will save a lot of space and we will add this trash button to each and every file so that you can easily move your files into the trash folder let me show you an example here this is my video file which is hosted on my google drive you can see that guys now let me sh uh, move this file to the trash folder so we will simply click this button of trash and as I click this button, a notification will be there that file is trashed. And if I see here now, basically, if I see my trash folder, you will see the video file is successfully moved in the trash folder. And let me take more, one more example. Let me move this image file, which is trash here. Let me do this. So now you will see the image file is also there. So notification is there, file is trashed. So now these two image files, uh, this video file and uh, this image file is trashed here. You can see the notification file is in the trash. So basically we are making use of Google Drive API guys. We are in the background. We are making a fetch request. I will show you complete code step by step in this tutorial how to implement this functionality. I will highly recommend if you haven't watched the previous four tutorials, you should definitely watch it. We are building this application step by step. So in each every tutorial, we are building a chunks of uh, functionality in every tutorial. So if you haven't watched the previous tutorials, if you are new to the channel, then pre then watch those four tutorials first and then come to this. So now if I click this button guys of empty trash, I will be able to click. If I click this button empty trash, you will see all the files will be deleted here. You can see no items are there. Items move to the trash are no longer here. You will also see a notification trash trash is now empty. So we have deleted all the files which were present inside the trash folder. So for this specific tutorial guys, I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website or uh, which is uh, you can see that let me show the blog post to you. So let me show you here. This is a blog post. I have given the link in the description of this video. So basically you can read this blog post alongside with watching this video and all the source code is given for specifically for this tutorial. And basically if you want to buy this for source code guys, you can click this link here and you can directly buy the full source code of this application for 5,000 rupees here. It's a complete project. You can deploy this live tool to earn some money as well. So I have basically deployed this tool on my freemediatools.com website. So you can even just deploy this tool like this. So this is a tool here. So you will also get this entire tool here. Uh, I have also made this tutorial in the last tutorial as well. If you haven't watched it, please look at this video. So I have deployed this tool uh, on freemediatools.com. So if you also want to deploy it and earn some money, so this is a complete application. You can upload search functionality is also there delete download i will add these functionality which which i add in this tutorial to this application so you will get all the source code so now for building this application guys uh, we will first of all need to go to our file here let me delete it and start from scratch so i will delete all this code here and start from scratch let me delete so this is all, all the source code guys that you see here this is a complete application that we are let me delete this and start from scratch so the very first thing guys we need to do if you now open your profile profile.html file here you will see no button will be there we need to now add this button so for adding this button it's very simple you just need to go to this button here give it a id of trash and here we will simply say that uh, empty trash 
we will put a folder here and inside our table guys we will add a table here like this which is move to trash so now we will have these uh, button as well so now we need to target this inside our profile.js guys so we will simply say here let trash document dot get element by id trash so we will be giving a on click to it trash dot on click and this will be equal to a function we will add this function which is called as empty trash so now we need to basically write this function guys basically we will now add this function so basically guys inside google drive api if you look at the documentation they offer they have this method out there which is called as empty trash so if you go to their documentation this is a method essentially we are using here this is a delete uh, http request here and basically this is the endpoint we just simply need to copy this endpoint and basically we just need to make a empty fetch request so we will simply write the function here empty trash and this time we will make a simple fetch request to this endpoint here and put a comma and this expects some options as well and here we will provide the method here which is called as delete so here we will make a delete request guys and also we need to pass the headers as well so headers is equal to new headers and here we just need to pass our authorization header here which is called as b e a r e a b error and followed by your access token so we are getting the access token inside the dynamic parameter which is you can here use a, a template string here so here we can get the access token like this inside we provide this variable which stores the access token for us and after that guys this returns a promise so we can handle this dot then and it's here we can simply say here console log res we can simply show a alert message that uh, trash is now empty so now this is a function guys for the empty trash function here and now i need to add a button here inside of a table dynamically so this button will be added as a data row table data and inside this we will add a button guys which is for the move to trash so this button will be added for every file here so move to trash and basically we will put a on click event listener guys to it so like this so basically guys here we will once again uh, so i think let me see this is uh, yeah so here we just need to make a simple fetch request guys so again put a fetch request symbol here inside single quotes and the url will be simply this url that we are seeing here google apis so let me just copy this url google apis.com slash and then drive drive version 3 files followed by your uh, file id so this is the file id for for every file which is stored inside google drive it has a unique id attached to it so we are uh, getting this value inside this for each loop and simply doing this put a comma and basically inside this options we are getting first of all the method is patch here this time and then we have the headers guys which we need to initialize in this case the headers will be new headers and this one will be for we will add the first header here which is authorization and this time this will be b error and then you can put a like this single quote you can put a like this beer access token so just need to provide your access token and the second property will be for guys uh, content type so you just need to surround this in double quotes because there is a space out there this special character so you just need to put surrounded inside double quotes so this would be equal to application slash json and also we need to have a accept header as well so this this value will also be application json and now we also need to provide a body as well guys so simply put a comma here and 
put body here and here we will be using json.stringify method here json.stringify and we will wrap the body here so this will contain a special property here which is called as trashed so this is a boolean parameter so either value it should be true or false so we need to basically move this file to the trash folder so this value will be true here so that's it so this is basically the fetch patch request we are sending it to the google drive api to uh, just move this file to the trash folder automatically whenever you press the button so let me summarize you uh, again here this is a request this is the endpoint we are making the patch request guys we are passing this dynamic id of the file then we the method is patch and then we are attaching three headers out there first is the authorization header which is bearer and followed by the access token the second is content type application json third is accept application json and then we are writing the body of this request so we are wrapping all this using json.stringify so this will convert this uh, object to a json object so now if you uh, basically this will return again a dot then we can handle this promise so we can simply console log response and we can say that here file is moved to trash like this so that's all that you need to do guys inside this now if i refresh the application hopefully this will now sorry this new need, this needs to be in single quotes not double quotes just change it to single quotes so that's it guys so now if i open this application let me open it here so let me open. so now if i click search files you will see the files will be there and if I check the trash folder, it is now empty here. No file is present inside the trash folder. And if I try to move this file here, move to trash, you will see that some error will be there. Let me see the error here. Access to fetch at uh, from origin. Uh, let me see what is the error here profile.js uh, let me see guys I have made a mistake here let me just see what kind of mistake I have done here a method is patch headers is new headers content type trashed is true uh, let me just paste it guys uh, so that the time is not wasted so the link uh, the this source code will be there inside description of this video so don't worry about it we paste it here you will now see this is the same method that we written here like this and now if I try to basically go to inspect here and let me try this one you will see file is trashed and if I open the trash folder you will see this is the file which is moved to the trash folder and now if I try to basically empty the trash you will see that that file will be removed from this folder trash is now empty you can see that the items were removed from the trash folder so this is the two functionalities guys we have added in this tutorial how to basically move the files to the trash folder and also empty the trash completely so basically if you want to buy all the source code and also want to deploy this application on live internet you can buy this application code i will give this link direct link you can buy this full application full source code here so you will get full support and this is you can also check out the live demo as well so this is the complete demo you can upload files to google drive delete search files advanced so 
So thank you very much for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next one.